Hello, it's Jim Howard here in Fort Worth, Texas. Today's date, it is uh, June 20th of uh, 2017. And I forget what category this is, what playlist this is going to go in, but it's going to be a short, general blogging. Uh, instead of typing in my blog now, I'm going to be doing more video blogging. Uh, let me update you on <laughs> the changes from a few days ago. I now have two computers working instead of, well, I have I had three computers the other day that I was using. I'm using two computers now. Windows 10 computer and an old computer that I have installed uh, Ubuntu Mate Linux on. And I was using, I did have my Chrome box, which I do like, hooked up. I put that in a closet for now. Of course, I do have a Chromebook over here on the desk, which I never use. I'm trying to get my daughter to uh, take this, but she refuses. She could use it. And it's a, it's a nice, uh, nice computer because, you know, it runs, it's a Chromebook and it runs... Uh, you can run the Android apps on it, and it's touch screen and everything. Um, but anyway, I have it sitting over here. Um, so I was running three computers, and the re I think the reason I switched is uh, the, the switch that I was using. Oh, I'm using one monitor, one keyboard, one mouse. And the switch, which was a new one, that I got was a forget the name of it or the manufacturer or the seller of it but it used Wi-Fi and occasionally the mouse or the keyboard would not be connected for a little bit and I just didn't want that so I reinstalled my uh, I think it's what is it K, KWV or KVW switch and it supports two uh, computers so I put the chrome box in the closet for now but if you know me I'll probably have a day next week or whatever I'll have it back out doing something with it playing with it um, I am just sort of playing with I've been playing with Ubuntu with Lin you know with Linux for years and years all the different versions I keep trying different versions and I'm just kind of messing around with it now. I did make a video today and I used uh, Ubuntu and I uploaded it to Facebook. I didn't put that video here. Um, the other thing I wanted to mention was okay on the Ubuntu I used uh, cheese program uh, video program so I recorded it using cheese and using my C920 or C930 camera I forget which Logitech USB and uh, used the cheese program uploaded it I didn't write down the yeah I did the file size was uh, 289 megabits. I uploaded that megabits. I uh, uploaded that okay with no problem. Facebook accepted, you know, accepted that. Uh, I put it on my Facebook page, and uh, I was wondering the format is uh, WEBM file, and. Uh, Facebook accepted that. So I guess they accept all the file sizes or all the f formats. Uh, I don't want to spoil your lunch or anything, but on my head, um, if you've been following my videos, I noticed it uh, had a little bit of a problem with healing. And so I uh, worked on it as best I could and I believe I have a hole in my head. I guess the pulling either 
pulling the skin together did so I put the ointment on there the doctor said and I and I put I've gone back to having a uh, bandage on it with the bandage on it that keeps I hope the scab from forming over which is a problem because I think it keeps it from really healing the bright way or whatever so back to doing that um, news wise I don't want to get big into news but uh, want to make some comments um, on this Korea visitors Americans going to Korea or to uh, North Korea don't go do not go uh, I guess there's a company in Japan well the company in China says that 20% of their people of the people that they take on tours of are U.S. citizens and they said they're going to stop they're not going to allow any U.S. citizens to go in so I guess there's two other companies there's a company in China another one I think I think there's one in Japan I hope that both of those companies do the same thing just tell them you know U.S. citizens you cannot travel I think I saw someplace here that uh, the House of Representatives or Congress or something is looking at passing a law stating that you can, you know U.S. citizens cannot go to North Korea. Now I'm not in favor. You know the problem is if with President Trump in charge and with the right wing in Congress or whatever what if they if things are they're having trouble major problems right now of course but if they really established themselves and didn't have all the problems they're having they could easily uh, they are this stupid uh, they could easily pass some regulations or whatever saying that US citizens could not go to Sweden Denmark and Norway because those are communist countries they're not communist countries but to the right wing republicans they think that's communism there because uh, because their citizens have benefits and have health care or whatever so so I'm not in favor of of these bans or you know really but in this case in north the case of North Korea because too when anybody goes from say China or any nation as uh, tourist into North Korea, that's some hard cash that uh, North Korea gets, and um, I wouldn't say people shouldn't be allowed to go there if it just came down to if that was just it. If it was just, I wouldn't do it just to deny them money. But since of this situation of. Uh, the way North Korea is, you know, I think this is a good opportunity to uh, say. But anyway, if there's anybody out there, I don't think there's any of my viewers that are dumb enough to go there. But uh, the other thing, I don't care anything about the press conference, you know. There was something else here I wanted to mention. But I think this video is starting to run too, too long, so I'm going to bring it to a conclusion. Uh, I think you all sort of agree with me that uh, me being brief is probably the best uh, best thing. So thank you very much for watching.